Hi, this is Paul Hamilton. We're going to go over some of the uh, operational checklists here before we go flying and after we go flying to have you understand the checklist. Now, you should have also watched the pre-flight video on this aircraft, uh, and so we're not going to be covering that, but we're going to be looking at the operational checklists before we go flying. Okay, and of course, one of the first things we do is uh, before we're ready to go flying is undo the all the tie downs. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, take off the canopy here. And the way to do this is I, we grab the front of it and the back of it and then we generally fold it in on itself so the, so the nice soft portion of it is inside not on the outside. And we fold it up as nicely as we can here. We'll open the top and we'll throw that right in here so we don't forget it. We're going to go ahead and get this ready for uh, myself. So we'll undo our, our stick here. We've got a little tiny uh, lever right here. We're going to push that. So, so we're going to move our lever here, and this allows us to slide our seat forward and back, and we can bring it all the way forward, and then we make sure that that's latched in. Now we can see how that's way far forward here. Or we could move it way far back, and we always make sure that that's latched. So there we go. So we're going to move this forward, since I'm going to be in the front seat and there we go so now that we're up here we can uh, you can put your hand here your hand here you can step onto the seat here and just work your way down in like this and there we go okay so once you go ahead and do the same thing okay and hold on to the roll bar there And get yourself all situated there, okay? How's that feel? Good. Good? Okay. So we've ingressed here. We're both in here now. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, uh, a little safety warning we read. Uh, this aircraft is uh, manufactured in accordance with the light sport aircraft airworthiness standards. does not conform to standard category airworthiness requirements. However, this aircraft is certified is uh, FAA approved for commercial flight training. Okay, so there's your there's your warning about that. Okay, seat belt use. Uh, this is just like any other, just like when you get in a regular airplane. If you need to undo the seat belt and um, get out of the uh, aircraft, you just lift up and exit yourself out. The other the other thing is is that here. Our canopy is going to be latched like that. If we need to uh, open the canopy to exit, we just move that towards open and slide it back. Okay. okay? And with and when you undo your seatbelt, then you can exit out of the aircraft. Okay. Okay. And of course, a motion sickness. We know that uh, you don't have a motion sickness problem, but we have a little motion sickness bag down here for anybody who might. And we talked about our emergency exit procedures. Okay, under the seatbelt, open the canopy. Mm -hmm. Okay, our fire extinguisher is right back here if we need that. Okay. Okay, and our push to talk button is right here. So if you're working the stick, uh, you push, feel that little button right there. That's the, the button that we actually uh, push to talk. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we talked about the canopy operation, how that works. And the rudder pedals are down there. You can go ahead and put your feet out there. You can, uh, uh, there you go. So if you want to go right, you can kind of push on the right. If you want to go left, you can push on the left. Okay? And you don't want to be uh, uh, messing with those too much while we're uh, taxiing and flying. Okay? And lane A, B, and fuel pump switches. Here's our main uh, lanes. Uh, typically in regular airplanes here, we got our, they call these the mags. But here we call them lanes because they're two separate, completely separate uh, operating systems. And so you don't want to be uh, shutting off the lane switches, the mags, or your fuel pumps while we're flying. And that's where they're marked with red here, where the engine will stop. Okay? 
And we also want to be uh, always looking out here for any uh, traffic, whether we're on the ground or whether we're in the air. So uh, anytime you're going to be uh, helping me look for traffic, okay? Mm -hmm. So, and we're going to go ahead and get our seat belts on. So we, we uh, okay, so it looks like you got that on there good. Okay, you always put your lap, t tighten your lap belt first. Mm -hmm. I usually undo the, the shoulder here. Shoulder harness is here to give a little extra slack there to start. Okay, so I typically get a little extra slack here on the on the shoulder belts. Uh, the these fit right through here under our seat belt. We'll tighten our lap down lap belt down first, getting those in the center, and then we can tighten down our shoulder straps. And we just want to we don't want to have our shoulder straps too. We want to be able to reach everything here. Okay. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go through our engine start checklist. So first of all, we're going to take, take our master, which is our little gold key here. We're going to turn our master on. We're going to turn our EFIS backup on. That gets us to the backup batteries on here so we can read our Hobbs time. We can see our Hobbs time right down here. Okay, so we're going to get our Hobbs time here. We're going to date it. Six. Say Loretta. I'm going to mark myself as the CFI. Yeah, we can see our Hobbs, Hobbs time here is 68.1. So we're going to mark that in here. And you notice here, uh, our book here, we're, we've got our main aircraft time. We've got all our procedures here for operation. CFI log here, uh, maintenance when we need to do our change our uh, oil. We've got our weight and balance here, and we've got our uh, aircraft documents here. So that introduces you to our uh, little aircraft logbook here. We can put that in the back so we've marked our Hobbs time down. Okay, we're going to move our flaps up. We had those down for our pre flight. We're going to take our trim right here, we're going to set that for neutral. Fuel selector valve, we're going to put that on the fullest tank. Lane A switch on. Lane B switch on. Main fuel pump on. And if we haven't flown in a while, we can turn our, turn our ECU backup on uh, to basically prime our fuel system we so need. Turn that on for five seconds. And our throttle, we're going to move that just a, a, a crack here to the arrows. Our brakes, we're going to we're going to take our braking system. We're going to hold that hold that back and put our brakes on. Propeller area, we're making sure that that's clear of obstructions. We're going to yell clear prop, clear prop. Make sure no one's around here. And we're going to go ahead and start it. Get our throttle level right to 2,000 RPM. Oil pressure, we make sure we've got oil pressure immediately. And we make sure our lane lights are you know, come off after we, after we start up. And we turn our auxiliary fuel pump 2 on. Keep this 1 and 2 on. We're going to take our avionics on and then we're going to grab our headphones. Okay, we'll get that mic right next to your mouth. Yes. Okay, talk to me. Yes. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two. Okay. Are you good? Uh, yes. You can yes. hear me good? Yes. You've got a volume adjustment right here also. Okay. And since, it's, since it's a little bit, sometimes I like to taxi with this canopy open. And when we do that, we uh, uh, have to kind of keep it back. It can slide forward. You can hold it on the side here. But since it's a little chilly today, we're going to go ahead and close that. Okay. Right now. Okay. Oil pressure, and we're going to go ahead and turn our our strobe on. We're going to bring that up to 2,500 here for a moment. And we had to run it up to 2,500 RPM so we can get our our generator engaged. Uh, so we get our 13.8 volts right here, which we can see. Okay, and we're verified that our seatbelts are on. Transponder is set. We can see that that is set. To, uh, 
altitude 1200 our radio is set we got that set to uh, 123 we're going to hit our up down arrow here one one and listen to our awas wind two zero zero at four visibility more than one zero sky condition clear below one two thousand temperature one one celsius two point six celsius altimeter three zero zero seven Okay, we're going to go ahead and set our, our barometer here to 3007. Carson City Airport, automated weather observation. And yeah, we've got that. We're also going to set our uh, altimeter here. Okay. So we're all set for our engine start. We're going to go ahead and release our brake. Now yeah, we're going to test our brake immediately to make sure that that works. we got our brake on our right here and we'll taxi on out here how are you doing feeling comfortable yes okay and of course as we're taxiing and flying we're both looking for aircraft like our taxiway is clear here And we'll work on our brake here, our hand brake. Steering around in position here. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna pull back on the brake. We're gonna lock that brake. Okay, brake set and lock. Trim. We're gonna verify that that's in uh, neutral position here. Okay. Pilot briefing. We've talked about the positive exchange of controls. Uh, if I'm going to give you the controls, I'm going to say you have the controls, you grab the controls, and then you verify I have the controls, and I'll say you have the controls, and then that's our exchange procedure, a three-step process, okay? Okay. And if we have any kind of a, if there's any kind of emergency, I'll be the pilot in command, and you do know how to get out of the aircraft there, we've, uh, un yes. undo your seatbelt and undo the canopy there, okay? At the same time, if we uh, are going to be uh, uh, coming down uh, hard, then we're going to also turn our fuel pumps off. Okay, and our electrical systems. Okay, so we're gonna do our controls box check here. Make sure we've got everything's working properly and it feels good, no binding. Okay, engine, we're gonna bring that up to 4,000 RPM. We've got our RPM right down here. And at the same time, we're making sure we're not moving here by just focusing on that RPM. And there, so we got 4,000. So we're going to do a lane A check. We're going to switch off lane A. You see our light come on. Wait for five seconds, bring it back on. Now we're going to wait for the computer to check and wait the systems. We're going to wait for that light to come off. There we go. We're going to do lane B. Okay. And we can see how we've got our uh, little warnings here because uh, the oil, some of the instruments are actually running off of lane B. Turn that back on. And the computer's going to check it. We're going to see this light come off. Okay, so our computer's checked that. Fuel pumps, we're going to check both our fuel pumps. Ox pump off. We're going to make sure we're still running on our one fuel, our main pump. Ox pump on, main pump off. Now we can see we're still running. Now, of course, this will, if uh, this is fuel injection, if, our, if we turn our fuel pump off, the engine will die. Okay, so we checked both of our fuel pumps. Put both those on. Engine, we're going to bring that back to idle. We're going to check our engine instruments. We're all in the green here. EGT, coolant temperature, oil temperature, oil pressure, fuel pressure. Everything's looking good here. Okay, everything's in the green. Breakers check. Check our breakers. Our altimeter verify that we're actually at our field elevation, 4,700. Flaps, we're going to bring those to our first flap position number one here. Seat belts check. Is Again, and lights as usual. We're going to go ahead and turn on our uh, 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 landing lights. It's a little bit dark today, so people can see us. Transponder, we're going to check that again. Canopy, closed and locked. Okay? So there we go. So we're ready to take off. We're going to undo our brake. We're going to... Parking brake. We're going to 
Make sure there's nobody out here. Don't see any air traffic. Okay, we're looking off to the right here. I haven't heard anybody on the radio. Looking there, making sure no one's coming down the runway the wrong way. Carson traffic, sling 280 Sierra Lima, entering runway 27 for takeoff. Carson traffic. Okay. So we are looking good here. Okay, we're gonna come come up nice and easy on that throttle. It's taking a little bit of right rudder to keep us in the middle. And we're gonna get the nose just a little light here. 50, 55, okay, so we're gonna rotate nice and gradual. There we go. Now we're going to climb at 70 here, that's our best climb speed.